Hello? Hello? Everything that we experience is just a tiny fraction of reality. Hello? Hello? We only see things when these photons reflect off back. But if it's invisible to us, it's visible to someone else. Stealth technology in aeroplanes and ships works in a similar pattern. They absorb energy from a radar. Just like visible light, a radar bounces radio waves to detect an object. If there is no radio wave reflected back, there is no plane in the first place. Because that plane absorbed that energy by converting that energy into heat or bouncing that radio waves into its structure to make it invisible. This is how military airplanes fool radar system. But can we do this with visible light? Black objects absorb very little light and they become hot more quickly because they absorb most of the energy from photons than an ordinary color by combining red, green and blue. We get white. So by the basic understanding, we need something that does exactly mimic this process. But our understanding of dark matter and dark energy is so incomprehensible that we don't know what exactly it is, but it is more than 96% part of the universe. And what we live in is only 4% part of our living. I mean we cannot create a black shadow in front of us so that it can absorb that amount of light to make us invisible. The answer can be gravity or it's related to it. Light looks a ray to us. But when we move towards the quantum state, it becomes an electromagnetic wave. Light can form a curve path if it travels near a big mass. Photons do not follow Newton's gravitational law. Photons can be pulled by gravity. Not because of their mass, they have none. But because of gravity bends the fabric of space-time. But to apply this in a very small area, is beyond the word of impossible with the current technology that we live in. Either we need such a force that deviates light or we need something that reflects light in a very balancing way. In 2006, researchers at Duke University used metamaterial to direct light around an object and split it out 180 degree from where it came from. That would make the object disappear. A metamaterial is a structure made up of super thin wire of silver and silica. But we still have limits. We cannot move in it. Or if we move, we become visible. And its accuracy to make us disappear is not 100%. A physicist at Rochester University invented a cloak which bent light by changing its medium through glass. It's an arrangement of lenses that bend light around an object. Although it has some limitations, but it can help doctors to look without being blocked from their hands to see the patient's teeth. But to hide a moving person in a way that it works, to us, it will take decades. Hello? Hello? Everything that we experience is just a tiny fraction of reality. Whatever our experiment are, we are still finding a way to keep on trying. What we know may have never existed, but it won't stop me from trying. And as always, thanks for watching.